Hey, what is going on guys and girls? In today's video, I'll be showing you how to leverage AI to write and optimize a blog post to increase the likeness of ranking on the first page of Google for any specific keyword. To do this, I'll be showing you guys a new method that I haven't done before on this channel. I'll be utilizing GPT-4 on ChatGPT and New and Writer, and I'll be showing you how you can write SEO optimized content all within GPT-4. And then all you have to do is a little bit of optimization on New and Writer to get your content to a point where uh, you'll have a better chance of ranking on the first page of Google. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to enter our search query, which is how to write a cover letter for students on New and Writer. Now it's very easy to start up a search query on New and Writer. Just go ahead and click the new query include the topic in which you're trying to rank for and then click start. So I've already done that method. Uh, for this example, we'll be writing a blog post or trying to optimize and write a blog post about how to write a cover letter for students. So we can see here um, at the bottom, we have some terms in articles and we have some terms in headers. So when you're trying to write an optimized um, SEO blog post, you need to include these specific search queries so that you're including, improving your on-page SEO so that Google, once it uh, is reading your content, it'll be able to know what your content is about. So because we're writing a blog post about how to write a cover letter for students, we're going to have keywords such as cover letter, student cover, college student, student student cover letters, cover letter examples, and so on. And we'll also have some terms specifically that we'll have to include within the articles, such as write a cover letter, college student cover letter examples, cover letter templates, and so on. So these are going to be the keywords that we'll be feeding into GPT-4 to make sure that it's including these keywords within the content while it's writing the content. So in that way, we'll already have a pretty optimized content once we go ahead and paste it within New and Writer. To further optimize your content, you can use the article draft, which allows you to include specific H1s and H2s that your competitors have included within their articles for this keyword. So we can go ahead and build out our layout and then feed it into GPT-4 and ask it to write the content. So let's go ahead and build out our outline. We'll start with H1s. So we're gonna choose some specific H1s. So for H1s, you don't really need that much. Uh, and then let's go ahead and choose our H2. So what is a cover letter? What is the purpose of a cover letter? How do I write a cover letter? When should I write a cover letter? How to prepare, da da da, how to email, what not to include. So again, we can just go ahead and scroll through our competitors and just include all of the most important uh, H1s, H2s, and H3s. So again, these are H2s. So I'm gonna scroll down and try to get some H3s. Okay, so that seems like enough headers. If you wanna filter by questions, again, you can filter by questions and you can then include some specific questions if you wanna add a FAQ at the end of your article. So we have a pretty decent outline here that's been created by um, new and writer. So let's go ahead and copy this and I'm going to start prompting GPT-4. So I've went ahead and primed ChatGPT by saying, you are an expert blog post writer. You specialize in creating blog posts around creating cover letters for students. Your task is to use these H1, H2, and H3 headings to create an in-depth and engaging blog post outline about how to write a cover letter for students. If you're happy with the outline which you built with New and Writer, you can definitely go ahead and just use that and ask the AI to then write that outline. But usually when you're just gathering outlines from um, your competitors, it doesn't really kind of flow in the right way. So what I like to do is I like to paste the content within ChatGPT and then tell it to create a unique and engaging outline using that content. So that's exactly what I've went ahead and asked it to do. And I've pasted the outline which we generated with um, New Writer. So let's go ahead and see the outline which we can get back. And the beauty of GPT-4 is that you can input a lot of information. So that's why I like to take advantage of it because previously with other models, you, you wouldn't be able to paste in this amount of information, but GPT-4 is a lot smarter. So it's able to uh, take in and understand all of this information and write you a pretty engaging and um, unique blog post outline that uses all of the headlines that your competitors used. So here's the output in which we got back from GPT-4. It does take a little bit of time, but as you can see, it's really, really well done because it's able to take all of that information and only extract the things that are most important. And it actually goes ahead and distinguishes it by H1, H2, or H3. So we have an intro and then we have understanding what a cover letter is preparing to write your cover letter, how to write your cover letter as a student, emailing your cover letter, cover letter examples and samples, and cover letter do's and don'ts, and special circumstances, so how to write a cover letter for specific scenarios, final tips, 
for a successful cover letter and a conclusion. So as you can see here, we got a really, really in-depth and um, well thought out blog post outline. So now let's go ahead and actually start generating some content. As I mentioned earlier, there are some specific terms in which you would need to include within your article. So we've already included specific terms in header. So we'll leave that blank for now, but let's go ahead and copy all of the terms in article. So we're going to scroll all the way down here and we're going to copy all visible terms to clipboard. And now what we're going to do is we're going to tell um, GPT-4 to use this outline but also make sure to include these specific target keywords and write a 1500 word blog post about this topic okay so i've asked gpt4 to use this blog post outline above and write a 1500 word article using markdown about how to write a cover letter for student and make sure to include these keywords within the article so i've went ahead and uh, included those keywords that we extracted from new and writer so let's go ahead and send this over to GPT-4 and see what we're able to get back. Unfortunately, GPT-4 keeps on giving me an error within their server. As GPT-4 is now rolling out, there's a lot of bugs and uh, I think the demand is too high right now. Um, so right now there's some issues with using GPT-4. So I will be using the playground mode. Essentially, it's the same thing, but it allows me to uh, be in the back end and do a little bit more customization options. If you want to see exactly what the playground mode is and how to use it, I'll leave a link for a video that I did before, which explains how you can access the playground mode. But essentially, as you can see here, I'm using GPT-4. I've went ahead and added in the instructions on, into the system here, and I'm going to add the last um, input there, which is using the blog post outline. So I've pasted the blog post outline within the system here, write a 1500 word article using Markdown about how to write a cover letter as a student and make sure to include these keywords within the article. And I've went ahead and pasted in the keywords here. So now that we have everything sort of loaded up here, I'm going to increase the maximum length. Um, I'm going to increase the frequency penalty because that allows us to get more creative outputs. And then I'm going to go ahead and click submit. Okay, so here we go. The AI is now starting to write. So if you are running into some issues using GPT-4, then it may be useful to get access to the playground mode. You will need to get the GPT-4 API. And once you have the GPT-4 API, then you would be able to um, use the playground mode to access content because there are some bugs right now with GPT-4 when using it on chat GPT. Okay, so this was the output in which we got back. I just want to go through to see if it was able to um, get every single point there. It seems as though it did follow the outline and we were able to get back a pretty long output um, from GPT-4. So let's actually go ahead and copy this and I want to see how long this content was. Okay, about 1200 words. That's pretty good for a one shot blog post in which we generated using GPT-4. Let's go ahead and copy this now. And as we can see, I did ask it to have markdown. So we need to go ahead and uh, convert that into actual H1 tags. Okay, so I've used a free markdown to HTML converter. And as we can see here, we have a nice, um, well formatted blog post that we got back from GPT-4. So now let's go ahead and paste that content that we got back from Nuren Writer. And let's actually see how um, optimized the content is right off the bat from GPT-4 without doing any optimization on new and writer so for this i'm going to remove these headings here okay so i've removed all of the headings so let's go ahead and paste this in now i'm very curious to see how optimized our content would be so 47 that's not bad um right off the bat we didn't really do any specific optimizations we just created the content with gpt4 and we already have almost a 50 score in terms of optimization now we would need to add some more words and if we add some images in here i'm sure and we'd be able to get to that 60 mark. But as you can see here, it's fairly easy for you to get a pretty optimized content um, from GPT-4. So if you don't have a content optimization tool like Nuren Writer or Surfer SEO, you can use these same methods. You can even ask um, Chat GPT or GPT-4 to give you target keywords that would need to be included within this article to rank on Google, and then make sure that it includes those um, keywords within the article. So as you can see, this is a pretty easy and effective method for you to get um, optimize content out of GPT-4. And then all you have to do now is just go ahead and do some further optimizations to get it to whatever optimization score you're trying to go after. You don't need to overly optimize um, by any means, especially if you're cranking on a lot of content. This is an easy way for you to know that at least you've done more than the bare minimum very quickly. And then you can post your content. And if it's doing well, if it resonates with your audience, and if your domain rating is high and you start getting traffic, then you can go back and further optimize your content, right? You don't need to 
essentially do everything to get this to 100% optimization and then post it, that would just be too time consuming. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this method. I hope that you can um, use it within your content strategy to help you optimize content a lot quicker. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.